What's up folks? Jacob Rob AJ here. So today I'm going to be doing an EP review. EP is entitled Patterns and it's by Cut Underscore. <laughs> this band, it was a band that I came across a few months ago. They are a two-piece out of Amsterdam. Initially, I was recommended to them by the Melissa. Trying to find out some new artists that I haven't listened to that I might be interested in. I was checking out a lot of uh, Straw May tracks and a lot of his material. Since I did like Papa Ute, I was recommended the cover that they did. Decided to check out other material that they had out. Ended up downloading this package that they had available for free. And I was impressed by the songs. I kind of wanted to do a review on it, but I kind of wanted to wait until they released like an official EP. So today I was just looking around and happened to see that they just released an EP a few days ago. So I wanted to listen to the tracks and share my thoughts on it as well. It did feature six tracks, so I'm going to go through track by track and share my thoughts on it. Right, number one is entitled Sell On. I didn't know if I was going to like this track uh, when it first came on within the first few seconds, but then the beat grew on me. And it actually turned out to be one of my favorite tracks from the CP. I really like the way that the drums lead up in the intro. The production had a great rhythm to it. Right, number two is entitled Slowly. When I was listening to a few samples of the tracks, I thought this was definitely going to be my initial favorite track from the CP. I did like the production that was done within the track. I love the part at the 32 second mark. I also like the chorus that was done within this track. Right, number three is entitled Honey and Pearls. There was a vibe that I kind of got from it that reminded me of a Lord track. Show the world your prized possessions. She goes into those lyrics, I was just kind of vibing out. Right, number four is entitled Twisting and Turning. Of all of the six tracks, this is probably my least favorite. I keep saying overanalyzing. You see this guitar part, and you'll kind of see her vocals kind of chopped up. And I thought it was just great with the way all of it came together towards the end. Track number five is entitled Seasons Change. I like the way the track started out. And I just kind of like how she's harmonizing at the very beginning of the track. And it just fit well with the production that was done. Track number six is entitled Papa Ute. It was the Straw May cover that was done. It was a great cover. This is actually the first track that I heard from Cut Underscore. I also did a video for it, and I remember seeing the live performance on it on 3FM, which I loved and thought was great. Kind of seeing how they took the original and what they did with it, and how they just turned it into their own song. At the 109 mark during the breakdown, you can just feel the energy that's going on, and you'll just be zoning out when you listen to it. Back to the 3FM set that they did in the studio. I thought that was good. I fell in love with Belle during that part. Beautiful, definitely talented. And when it got to that breakdown in Papa Ute, I was just vibing out from her energy. But overall, there were six tracks. I definitely thought this was a great EP by them. If you do have this EP, feel free to share your thoughts. What was your favorite track? What was your least favorite track? Uh, what do you think about them as a band? And how do you think their full length is going to come out once they release it? I'm hoping it's like this EP. And we'll just kind of see where it goes from there. And until next time, this has been Jacob Rob AJ. And I'll see ya.